I'm Elisa Lane, and I am the farm manager of White Lock Community Farm, which is an urban farm um, located in the Reservoir Hill neighborhood of Baltimore. The farm was started in 2010 by nine neighborhood residents. Um, and we started the farm because we, well, a lot of us came from the community gardens. There's two community gardens in the neighborhood, and a lot of us were in the community gardens, and, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of vacant lands um, outside of the community gardens in Reservoir Hill, and we wanted to do a larger greening project. Um, so some of us were thinking urban farm. Um, other people like me, I was just thinking I wanted to create a park and I wanted to create okay. something that was for the community, um, a space where people could come together and enjoy each other. Because we have Druid Hill Park um, close by, but it's not like quite, it's not in the community and so it's not a place where you can go and, well, and we, interact with your we, neighbor. First we were able to fund my position. I was volunteering for the first, um, gee, like a year. About, about a year I was volunteering my time. So we were able to fund my position. But then we've also have been able to fund, um, right now we have like a, a neighborhood youth that interns at the farm. And last year we also had another neighborhood youth that was hired. So yeah, we are, we are able to hire people in the neighborhood now. Um, yeah, so, so, well, previously there wasn't any healthy food really in this neighborhood. Um, this neighborhood is considered a food desert. Um, so the closest grocery store is like the Mandaman Shopping Center or um, I think it's called Shoppers or Stop. Save a Lot, Save a Lot in Bolton Hill. Um, <clears throat> and so there aren't a lot of healthy food options. And so, so our so our farm stands and also we have like different outlets where, where mm -hmm. people can buy our produce. Um, we also sell our produce um, through one of the neighborhood corner stores um, that previously didn't have produce. Um, so actually through the winter you can actually buy our produce there because we are still producing food. Um, so yes, we are providing better access to healthy food in our neighborhood. And people can come by the farm and actually see it growing in the ground and a lot of people do and a lot of people even come and volunteer at the farm and get to harvest the food themselves. Um, when people purchase their produce at the farm, um, they are, um, that money is not going to places outside of the neighborhood, to like um, chain stores. Um, uh, so, and it's going right back into the infrastructure of the farm. So buying the next round of seeds to produce more. Um, well, a lot of neighbors visit the farm to buy their produce, to volunteer at the farm. People just stop by to check things out and walk around. Um, we also have a lot of visitors that come from outside of the neighborhood. Um, we offer a lot of tours to school groups. Um, and um, and we're starting to, to receive a lot of visitors that are even outside of the city from like the University of Maryland Extension, like statewide, they come to the farm um, to like see a model of, of a greening project that is a, a positive, like environmental and economic, that has environmental and economic impact on a neighborhood. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for letting me interview you. Oh, of course.